Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to tell you how to make straightness measurements with this Wollaston optics. In the Wollaston kit, we have the Wollaston prism itself, then the Wollaston reflector, the special adapter to make uh, beam alignment more simple, and with a magnetic base to attach it to metal parts of the machine. Also, we have a WA01 prism, which helps you to rotate. Uh, the beam 90 degrees without need to rotate the image itself. Under the video we have a time code, so you can jump right into the part you are interested in. So let's go and see how to perform the measurements. If you use a tripod, install a tripod and then take the laser head from the case and install it on the tripod. If you don't use tripod, you can install it on the magnetic holder on your machine table. Attach the power brick to the device and press on the button a few seconds until you see the laser beam. Then attach USB cable if you want to connect by wire. Second step is to install the reflector prism. There is an aperture adapter to align it. Align it with uh, the red arrow shown on the laser head. In this case, the laser arrow is to the left and I align it to the left side. Launch the HPI software and select the connection method. You can connect via USB or Bluetooth. I'll use USB for this connection. Then install the Wollaston prism. First thing to do is roughly align it with the laser beam in the same way you have aligned uh, the reflector prism. The next thing to do is to align it in the way that the beam returns back to the laser head. To do so, move the reflector prism to the position where you're going to start the measurements. Then close the aperture on both sides and check if the beam returns to the second aperture. If it doesn't, you can use a wheel on top of uh, the reflector prism. If you don't see where the beam goes, you can trace it, for example, with a piece of paper or with your hand. If everything is aligned correctly, you will see two dots in display window. Adjust the Wollaston prism in the way that the beams are as close to center as possible. Do it with your hand. Be gentle with your adjustments. Move the Wollaston prism to the other end of uh, the axis you are going to measure. And check if the alignment is ok in your software. The best way is to move in manual mode and uh, check the signal strength all the time. Here how it looks in the screen. If in some points the signal is lost, you should readjust the Wollaston prism. The signal should be 100% during the whole route of the axis. Two dots in the screen can move, but they should be within the compensation range. The least movement you get from them, the better.
then install environmental sensor and temperature sensor. Sensors should be installed in the way to provide you actual information about the axis you are measuring. Then go to straightness and select wall stone. Also, you can choose manual or automatic CNC mode. I'll show you both in this video. If you need just manual, you can jump right to the manual mode with the time code. Select the start and stop position and feed rate. Also, the step. You can generate code for CNC machine. We support a bunch of different controllers. Here you can adjust all the necessary details and save the G code to transfer it to your machine. Then transfer the code to your machine and launch it until it reaches M0 instruction. So it will be the starting point of your measurements. Then press start in the software and wait until the program counts to zero. When you see zero, immediately press start on your machine. The table will move and you will see the data appearing on the screen. Keep in mind that machine feed rate is really important. If you have a difference in feed rate set in the software and on the machine, the measurement will fail. You won't get correct data. Here how it looks from the software side. The measurements will stop automatically when the final point is read. If you want to perform manual measurements, select manual in the program and return the machine to position M0. Then press start and manually move the machine to, uh, to the second point position. In standard set of HPI we provide a remote control. So you can trigger the measurements with the remote control without needing to go back to the computer. But if you don't have it, you can just press point capture in your software. But you can jump to correction table generation and the report with the time code provided under the video. Manual measurements will also stop automatically after the last point is captured. After the measurement is done, you can generate the compensation table. We support three kinds of compensation – Heidenheim 3D, Siemens and Absolute. You can save the table and send it to your machine. 
Also, you can preview the report, save it to PDF or print it. It contains a graph and a table with measurement results. Also, you can save the measurement into our proprietary format for later use. You have watched the video about straightness measurements with Wollstone Optics. Don't forget that with help of a WA01 prism you can rotate the beam 90 degrees and perform the measurements uh, in horizontal and vertical orientation. Subscribe to our channel, we will make new videos about using other text equipment and uh, about different ways of uh, measurements. Click like and see you soon.